Our speaker today literally wrote the book on how to ask outrageously. If you're not hearing no, you're not asking for enough. You're not asking outrageously enough. And what's outrageous? Outrageous is where you're just stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. Linda Swindling, always good to see you. Your new book, Ask Outrageously, The Secret to Getting What You Really Want. Where do we start with this? You just have to start. She has five things that can help you gain that courage. And no isn't always a deal closer. It's just a signal to ask another question. You need to ask for a little bit more. Take that risk. Everybody negotiates in this room. You've negotiated to get your job. You've negotiated with patients. You've negotiated with vendors. You've negotiated with your electric company. You've negotiated with your spouse, your kids. Everything is a negotiation, if you think about it. Because what is the very, very most valuable thing that a high-level decision maker has to give you? It's not money. They've got plenty of money. It's their what? Their time. If you are getting questioned by someone at that level, that is one of the best compliments that can be paid you. You've got their attention. If they are asking you questions, they want more information and they're trusting you to provide it. Lawyer, author, and uh, mediation expert, Linda Swindley joins us now live. Her latest book is Stop Complainers and Energy Drainers. Who knew there was a day devoted to gossiping people? That's right. And you know, some of us are devoting a lot more than one day to them. 73% said not only would I re- not only do I not want to work with them I would refuse a promotion and a $10,000 raise if it meant I had to work with this, one of these constantly negative people the whiners the crybabies you'll go up to them and you'll say I noticed you didn't speak up in the meeting I noticed that you know you haven't really been participating you're not getting things in is everything okay and they say Or they'll just do this. Are you okay? <sighs> they sigh, right? How many of you deal with a whiner? You just kind of nod. Yeah. Oh, I'm listening. Mm-hmm. Wow. And two to five minutes of going, wow. Okay, and then you have to really genuinely look like you care and, and you're empathetic. Wow, that sounds really rough. Sure, I'm glad that's, that's not, not my problem. problem. Have you ever failed to ask for something really big and then watch someone else get it? ask them outrageously for something and just see what they say. You're not going to shock them. If anything, they may start a conversation about something you didn't even know was possible. Ask for a little bit more. Ask someone to take a little bit less. Ask outrageously. You're going to be shocked at how well it works. We need you to ask. We need you to grow as much as you possibly can. We need you to ask for the communities that you're serving. We need you to stand up here and ask to do a TED Talk. We need you to ask and get your ideas out. You know, because you got to ask to really know. And you got to ask to really grow. She's very positive, and my members love her. She has a tendency to bring out the best in the people and the teams that she works with. She has this fantastic way of uh, planning a giggle that turns into a roar with an audience. Being vulnerable, um, being brave, and learning from Linda is something that we can all do. I highly recommend Linda Swindling for any program.